The Men Who Helped Shape the Industrial Revolution in America by Megan Boardman. The Industrial Revolution in America took place during the 19th century. It marked a major turning point in history. The Industrial Revolution was the transition to new forms of manufacturing. The following six men played a huge role in the creation and sustainment of industrialization in America. They helped shape the Industrial Revolution. Cornelius Vanderbilt grew up relatively poor in the state of New York. He started work at 16 and ran his own ferry business. Vanderbilt later ran his own steamship business as well. During the 1850s, Vanderbilt became the president of the Harlem and New York Railroad Company. He transformed a practically worthless investment into a multi-million dollar industry. He created the most well-known and most used railroad of the time, making himself the richest man alive and the commodore of the railroad. This created new ways of transportation for people to ship mass-produced items farther across the nation at a faster rate, and it created this new ability of the movement of people and products from one area to another in a short amount of time, making industrialization easier. John D. Rockefeller was born in Richford, New York. Rockefeller started to learn the tools of the trade while being in partnership in the oil industry. Eventually, he came to realize that the whale oil being used to light homes was too expensive and cheaper oil needed to be created, thus the birth of Standard Oil. Rockefeller came up with the Standard Oil Company in 1870 in Ohio. He created the sole provider of oil in America, thus making him an oil tycoon and the new richest man in the world. Rockefeller made a way for people to light their homes after dark in an inexpensive way. This allowed for the work. Andrew Carnegie was born in Dufferinline, Scotland. He moved to the U.S. in 1848 for the hopes of a better life. In the mid-1800s, Carnegie took an interest in the production of steel. He eventually found a way to create steel at very low cost using the Bessemer process for steel making, which was a furnace which allowed the high carbon content of pig iron to be burnt away in a controlled and rapid way. In 1888, Carnegie bought out Homestead Steel and created his own company, Carnegie Steel. He then became the supplier of the cheapest mass-produced steel in America. Carnegie made steel readily available for tons of people and allowed for steel to be used to create more industrialized structures in America, such as skyscrapers, to allow more masses into the cities to live and work. P. Morgan grew up in Hartford, Connecticut and moved to New York in 1858 to work as a bank financier. He created the banking firm J.P. Morgan Banking, which later merged with Chase Banking. He was known for his ability to merge financially unprofitable companies and make them profitable again. He created this concept of business mergers and helped keep companies going and producing during the Industrial Revolution. He is known for the merging of Edison General Electric and Thomas Houston Electric Company into General Electric. He also bought Andrew Carnegie Steel Company. Thomas Edison was a great American inventor and businessman. Edison was the creator of the first commercially practical incandescent light bulb. This made light available to homes all across America. The light bulb was considered safer than using oil, so people switched to the bulb. This allowed for daylight to last even longer, and workers began working more hours with the use of the light bulb. This allowed for more products to be made and safer lighting conditions for people all across America. Henry Ford was known as an American industrialist and the sponsor of the development of the assembly line technique and the technique of mass production. Ford founded the Ford Motor Company, which was the first company to create the first car that was affordable to the middle class. His influence on the Industrial Revolution in America was profound. His basis for the assembly line is one that is still used by many manufacturers around the world. The idea of mass production is how practically all capitalist economies function in today's world, and they have Henry Ford to thank for it. Overall, Vanderbilt, Rockefeller, Carnegie, Morgan, Edison, and Ford, all in their own way, helped shape industrial America into what it is today.